What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix you are having trouble with doom the dark ages is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck on the wooden screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround so the first one is all about what we need to do is just follow these instructions if you're having the trouble so the first and foremost step if you're having the trouble the first one is we need to disable the integrated graphics card so this is what we have to do so all we have to do is just go over here search for the right click or we can directly navigate to the device manager now from here what we need to do is just go over here and expand the display adapters for me i don't have two graphics card i'm having only one so i have to try with this if you're having the two graphics card you have to disable one of the graphics card and you have to make sure which you wanted to use keep it and you have to proceed further next one is all about afterwards the step two is all about we need to restore the global settings in the nvidia control panel so to do this just go over here right click and we need to go to show more options go to nvidia control panel now from here in the nvidia control panel we need to wait Now we just need to go over here for the manage 3D settings. Now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to restore. Then just go for apply and you have to check. That's what we have to try. Next one is all about. We need to go over here. Unplug all monitors except primary. And if you're facing issue with the primary monitor, then unplug plug in back the secondary monitor. So first we need to unplug all the monitors except. Then facing the issue with the primary monitor, then we need to sec plug in the second monitor. Next one, we need to try these options in the launch option. So copy this particular one. I'll be providing these in the description. So just go over here in the game. Now from here, right click and go to the properties. Go to launch option. We need to paste this particular command. Then we just need to try launch the game and we have to check. Still, if you're having the trouble, we just need to go to the next one. That is all about we need to disable the HDR. So copy this particular command over here. We have to copy this. Now we just need to go over here. Now we just need to go over here, remove this particular one, paste it and you have to check with the game. Still if you are having the trouble with the game, you have to remove this and this time after removing, you have to go for DX11. Try with DX11 and try launch the game and we need to check. So these are the steps. And also we can try out the next one, that is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card. So I will be providing a link in the description that will take you to the NVIDIA official website over here. Now from here, I'll be providing this link. So that's going to take you to this. Now from here, you have to navigate to the installation graphics card. For over here, as you can see, we have the product category. So uh, you have to select the details. Like if you're on the GeoForce, select GeoForce. If you're on the NVIDIA, select the respective category. So in my case, I'm going to select the respective one. And you have to select everything. And if you're on the Windows 11, you can go for Windows 11 and go for Find. That will take you to another page. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to download the latest graphics card from here. And also, if you're on the AMD, just go to this particular page over here. Select the graphics card. Based on your PC's configuration, you have to select everything. Now from here, go and go to submit. And if you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, you can download this one. And if you're on with Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, you can download this one. Now we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So to run the game on dedicated graphics card, just go over here, search for the graphics settings and we have to click on this one. Now from here, we need to click on the browse and go to installation folder. For me, in my case, I installed the game on local disk D, so I have to go to D. Now from here, I have to navigate to Steam library, Steam apps, common, then I have to go to Doom of the Dark Ages. Now from here I have to scroll down and navigate to Doom the Dark Ages. Here as you can see I have already added the game. If I check you can see it is already added. By default if you click on option it will be first in the left windows side. Change this one to the high performance over here that it has to run on NVIDIA GeoForce GTS 1650. Now go for save and you have to close this. Now afterwards we just need to go over here and go to the next step. So next step is all about afterwards, you have to scroll down and next one, we need to roll back the graphic drivers to either 566.36 or you have to go for 576.40 or you have to go for 572.83. So just go to the link of graphics card which I provided. Now from here, if you click on the view more option, 
now we can see we'll be having these options from this 572.62 is available as well as 572.83 now download this one and roll back the driver to this particular version that even help with many users so we can try this out next one is all about we need to run the game from the installation folder try running the game as an administrator and we need to disable the full screen optimization and we need to try the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here now we need to right click and go to the properties now from here we have to go to install it files just go over here on the install it file and click on the browse now from here that's going to take you to the installation folder and from here what we need to do is we just need to launch the game so instead of launching it from the steam try launching it from the installation folder while you're in the installation folder make sure that you close steam in the background now first try launch the game and you have to check if that is not the case right click go to show more options over here you have to right click and from here we need to navigate to show more options first go over here right click go to show more options go to the properties now from here navigate to compatibility make sure that you run this on the pong, uh, compatibility mode set this on windows 8 parallelly make sure that you put a check on run this program as an administrator and also you put a check on disable full screen optimization as well now we need to close everything over here and we have to try launch the game still if you are having the trouble we just need to move to the next one that allow the game file exe to your antivirus program for windows security so just go over here search for the control panel and we have to click on this one and right now go to system and security windows defender firewall now from here go to allow napper feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and we need to add the doom over here so right now over here as you can see the doom is added similarly we need to add the doom make sure if you don't know how to add it while you're adding it make sure that you put a check on both the boxes private and public so if you don't know how to add it, just click on the change setting, go to allow another app, go for the browse, navigate to the game installation folder, steam library, steam apps common, doom, the dark ages, scroll down and we need to select this and add it. So I'll be getting the error because it's already added. Once you add it, you need to check. Next one, we need to verify the game file. I'll skip this step to the last. Make sure that you're not running any overclocking applications like, you know, MSA Afterburner, Riva Tuner, Make sure to disable the Steam overlay, close all the overlay applications like Discord, GeoForce Experience, NVIDIA Shadowplay, overlay etc. So just go over here right click and navigate to the task manager. And right now we need to expand this and make sure if anything is like in a river tuner, MSA Afterburner, Discord, anything is running, we just need to remove the, all the unwanted things. Just remove it, we don't need it. That's what I have to say. Just remove all the unwanted things. And once everything is successfully removed, we just need to close this and move to the next one. That is all about we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description that's going to take you to this. Now from here, if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, you have to download this one. And also you have to install it. Next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory. So the initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, search for the calculator and we need to click on this one. And right now go for 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply in with, into 1.5. <coughs> we'll get getting this particular value. So we need to copy this. And before that, just go over here, search for view advanced system setting, click on this one. Go to the advanced tab, click on settings and go to advanced, not this one, sorry. Just need to click over here on this. Now click on the change and make sure that you uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed. So you have to select D and go to custom size. For the custom size we need to give the value. First we need to set 16 GB that is my RAM multiplied with a constant value and you have to multiply it with 1.5. That is 24576 so we need to copy this and we need to paste this value. Next one 
16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we need to paste it. Once every value is being set, we just need to close this and we need to check. That's what we have to try. Last and the least step, we need to unplug all the external devices such as hotas, wheels, pedals, mouses, razor, disconnect everything and you have to connect back and you have to check. So if you're trying to play the Doom with the controller, what I'm saying is just unplug it, launch the game. Once you're in the game successfully, you can just connect it back and you can check. That's what you have to try. Moving to the next one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game and you have to check. So just go over here into the game, right click and go to manage and uninstall. Right now the game is installed on local disk C, sorry local disk D. So we have to move the game from D to C or E. Try most probably you can try C that's what I'm recommending. You can try to this. So these are the steps when it comes to this and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. That's it. Bye bye.